We are ready to do some corrections on uh, one of the most difficult shots in tennis, which is a backhand overhead. Joe is going to demonstrate for us how to, uh, how to hit a correct backhand overhead, uh, as well as also the corrections. Most of a common mistake on a backhand overhead is people lock their elbows and they are not able to snap the ball. So here you go. He's not solid enough, he's got his elbows locked. It's difficult to really direct the ball when that happens. So the way he's going to correct this, short of a sh this sort of a shot, he's going to make sure that his elbows are slightly bent and he can actually get some wrist snapped into the shot. Good. That's very nice. Aggressive, he can move his feet into the shot. Another common error on a two-handed overhead is the players don't practice it at all. I, I very, very seldom see players spend enough time on the overhead. So please make sure that you implement into your workout enough backhand over, overheads so the players can learn how to adjust with their feet and how to hit a successful shot. So a series of 10 overheads, every workout is probably the right amount of shots that you want your players to hit. We have a very windy day today, which is great. So Joe really can concentrate on moving his feet as footwork is the key to hitting a successful two-handed backhand overhead. For all those players that have a one-handed backhand overhead, one of the biggest mistakes that they make, they let the ball come down too much. And when that happens, it's, that happens, it's very difficult to control the shot. So what you want to do, if you are a one-hander on a backhand, try to catch the ball as, as high as you can. And notice also, I am on a clay court side, and there is a reason, it's an artistry shot and it's very, very much easier to learn and to be successful learning on a clay this sort of a shot. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show what happens. Go ahead. See, I'm letting the ball come down too much. The shot is not solid. I'm hesitating. It's just not what a one-handed overhead is, a, is about. It becomes a one-handed high back and volley. So what you want to do is really attack the ball and catch it, and catch it at the highest point. Oh, right there. I am not letting the ball play me. I'm going and attacking. Nice and solid. Another common error on a two-handed uh, overhead, whether it's a one-handed or two-handed, is people have the racket head too high up with the wrist too high up. I'm going to demonstrate. This way there's never any pace, no control, and it's not solid enough. So the way you correct that sort of a mistake is make sure that whether it's a one-handed or a two-handed backhand, you don't have your wrist cocked up too much.